Uh, that tape is for official government business only. It's a sticky tape dispenser. It says, for government use only, violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. It's a postal scale. It says, for government use only, violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm in the middle of sorting. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent... Do you know any... No, ever... No one from my... I mean, it's just not as... Don't leave town. I have eyes on you. I'll be right there. Too much sorting to do. Well, since you're with the government, I guess you're entitled to some tape. Just go easy on it. We're almost out. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. I love carrying stuff. Arrest Lily Tilino for the murder of Boris Rooks. Oh, what have we here, Reno? Have our big city agent Reno's actually solved the murder? I'll take that. Let's see what it says, Reno. Oh, blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, Reno. <sighs> ah, Willie T. Wino. Just as I suspected, Reno. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Reno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? What? Come with me, Reno. Well, Willie Reno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Reno? These feds will break you. You want to close this case, Reno? Have at him. Do you think we should play good cop, bad cop? What else would we play? I'll play good cop. I'm the good cop, and she's the bad cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it, I did it! I killed the man by the bridge just to watch him die. Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm D.B. Cooper, and I stole all the money.
Keep talking, murder boy. I'm Jack the Ripper. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I took the beat. Blab on. You can't beat good cop, bad cop. I'm the Zodiac Killer. Anything else you want to confess to? I, I killed Jimmy Hoffa for the mob. Anything else you want to confess to? I, I was the mastermind behind the Amsterdam Diamond Heist. Keep talking, murder boy. I left the toilet seat up. You monster. Keep talking, murder boy. I, I, I caused a Three Mile Island meltdown. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. I'm glad I caught the killer, and we can finally leave this stinkhole. That's not such a bad place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never gonna hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. It's a speck of dust. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. Stay away from my crystal. A new ghost. I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room. And you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier.
Can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Shut up in there! The Terminator will never have a sequel! Boo! -boo. I'm right here! Boo! Pew! 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 Help! I'm a ghost! It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Cutting edge computer technology. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. See you soon, Virgil. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Not long now. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? 
You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Here's your package, boo. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. Mom says he was always complaining about the faulty logic in the factory machines. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well... I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Sir, I have a package of for you. I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. It's all that Franklin's fault. He was going to talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! The circus grounds.
I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened.
calling all geeks. ThimbleCon 87 is now open. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Shut up in there. Every child will want an e- The doors are closed. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the Ransom Lookalike Contest. It's turned off. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Uh, hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is... Fill in the blank. This is your brain. This is drugs. Blank. That's correct. Here's your second question. Who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? You got it right. And your final question. Who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall?
You got it. Let's see how you did. You got three out of three. A perfect score. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Um, my name? Congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. The doors are closed. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gum Abu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your beat. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I need to get into the factory to get my prototype doll back. The doors are closed.
One ticket for ThimbleCon 87. Thanks a lot. Whatever. What the f You can't carry this None shall pass with Owen. Welcome to Thimble. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Guy, uh, prosper. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? <laughs> huh, stinks in here. Yes, well, it looks like we've got some great entries. And some not-so-great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. I have big hair. He does! Oh my! That's funny! Am I missing something here? I'm Ransom, the jerk clown. It's Ransom, the insult clown, you moron. That's not a nice thing to say. Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman lookalike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've got to be kidding. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. I was amazed you aren't a bunch of fatsos. Fatso? That's an incredibly hurtful and vulgar word to use. It's not something that any decent people say in public. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it. Because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The sheriff, coroner, and hotel manager are all distinct people and awesome in their own right. You should be thanking them for keeping the town running. Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. No one's giving any bums money. They live off scraps like the rest of us. Bunch of ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. Wasn't Chuck the best human? 
Don't you think? Yes, Anne. Where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? What a lovely crowd we have tonight. I can't wait to meet all you wonderful special snowflakes. This is so unbelievable. I hold you all ransom with my jokes. Clever. <laughs> ransom, ransom, so smart. Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is, obviously, Corey. Oh my, thank you. Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog. But you could just walk into any toy store and buy that already. Second place is Corey. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot. Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Saikin. I don't want more junk. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. Now the contest is over, there isn't anything going on. Doors are closed. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her.
Shut up in there. We will too have colonized Mars by 2017. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego. Flowers left over from a funeral. It's a big electrical knife switch straight out of Frankenstein. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does Brother Chuck get one and I don't? Maybe it's because no one found my body. Where's my sarcophagus? Maybe it's... Stay away from my crystal. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Can I please have the crystal so I could speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. The doors are closed.
as a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Hmm. I wonder... It's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. Yes! It's my father's watch. It's my father's old pocket watch. But it's broken. And only a professional will be able to fix it. Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, thimbleberry pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. I can't eat this pie. I have to give it to Mr. Balowick so he'll read the will. Mr. Balowick. Here's the, uh, freshly baked thimbleberry pie. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie, and the tomb is opened. You still need to decode his will, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them.
I did it. It's totally decoded now. I'll give it back to Mr. Balowick.